Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where today I am reviewing a pair of military boots from Proper. These are the Series 100 8-inch non-waterproof military boots. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at them now. So right here you have it. These are the Proper 100 Series 8 boots, F4508. Now, I have been testing these out for numerous months now, and it is time to pass on my review. Let's go ahead and let's start with stats for these boots. These are available in sizes from 5 all the way up to 15, and there are wide sizes available as well. There is a waterproof version of these boots that does cost a little bit more. When it comes to price, you were looking at a retail price of $110. The construction of these boots consists of leather and 1,000 denier nylon and features the NATO speed lace system. You're looking at triple stitching for durability. The shoelaces themselves are made from 550 cord. The inside of the boot features an open cell air mesh foam so you can get as much air circulation as possible. As you can see here, the outer sole is a triple density rubber, which is oil and slip resistant. So we've gone over the stats for the boots here. Let's move on to the review. Now, as I mentioned before, I have been testing these out for multiple months during the hottest part of the summer here in Western North Carolina. And I have used these for all different types of adventures from day hikes, overnight backpacking trips, and so on. If you followed the channel since it began, this is not the first pair of military boots that you guys have seen. And that's because I have personally purchased and used many pairs of military boots over the years. And I could tell you folks, they are not all created equal. For an example, I have a pair of Reeboks, which are very good. I have a pair of Rockies that are absolutely terrible. And I'm sure you're wondering, how do the proper boots fare? In all honesty, very, very good actually. These are really, really good military boots. The construction is excellent, the quality is excellent, and they are very, very comfortable. When I received these boots, I began the break-in period, which did not take very long. It took around 10 days, really, to break them in until the point where they were fully comfortable. Moving on with the pros here, these boots are very, very lightweight. Compared to many military boots that I own, these are some of the lightest. There are lighter out there, there's no doubt about that but these are not heavy. When it comes to boots of this length, it is very easy to get a pair that are very heavy. And in no time, your legs will be killing you, especially after a long hike, run, or so on. When it comes to support, these boots do offer you a lot of support. You have excellent arch support. The rubber sole, while stiff, is not extremely hard, and that's a huge plus. The shoes that I have on my feet right now are a pair of Vasque Mantra 2.0s. The outer sole is so hard. If you jump in these, it will just about damage your spine when you hit the ground. Luckily, that is not the case with these boots here. The triple density rubber does offer you some cushion, and that assists with these boots being comfortable. You can easily go out for a 10 mile hike in these boots like I have with no issue. You can go out for a run in these boots with no issues while staying fully comfortable and supported excellent ankle support. I've had no issues with turning over or anything like that. When it comes to traction, very, very good. Not the best in the entire world. You can see here, my hand does slip across this fairly easily. When it comes to traction on the ground, no issues. On rocks, no issues. Not the most tacky though. There are definitely boots out there that offer you better traction than these here. Out of a 10 rating, 10 being the best, I would give these a seven in regards to traction. When it comes to the insole, we should talk about that. This boot does come with, if I can get it out, <laughs> Come here, you. Additional soles, which you can put inside of the boot. This is a nice feature, and this allows you to really custom tailor the fit for yourself. There is something to keep in mind with military boots. If it's an all leather constructed boot, typically you could soak the boot, wear it, and let it dry while you're wearing it, and you could customize your fit. When you have a leather boot with nylon material, you cannot do that. You will not get the same sort of fit. So these added insoles, which are included, this helps you get that customized fit that you need for your boots. When it comes to sizing, I would say this is true. It's true to sizing. With full leather military boots, I generally get a half size larger. Here with these, I didn't have to do that. I got my size and it fit perfectly. So you get the inserts, which go on top of the regular sole, which is memory foam. Very good cushion. You could take this out. You could wash it if you need to. It goes back in nice and easy. That is a very comfortable insole. It does a good job of conforming to the pressures of your foot with your step and so on. Throw the insert on top of that and it's even more comfortable. Now, as you can see, this is somewhat narrow. My feet are definitely wider than this, but when this is inside of your shoe, you do not notice that. All that you notice is that it's nice and cushiony. 
Is that a word? Cushiony? No, I don't know. Talking about the materials here, the suede leather is very nice. The Kedora, again, very nice. Excellent attention to detail here, excellent quality. The triple stitching has done a really good job of holding up to my use. Speaking of which, I have tested these boots out with roughly 65 miles of trail time, of hiking, all sorts of different conditions. I've been in light rain with these and these are water resistant. They are definitely not waterproof. Water will seep through, especially here with the nylon material. You definitely do not want to submerge these. There is a waterproof version, as I mentioned before. So if you need that feature, look for those. When the materials get wet or soaked in sweat, they do dry quickly. That's a huge plus. Now with that being said, there's no way to get around being hot in a boot like this. Anytime that I've been out hiking and let's say the temperature's around 90 degrees, very, very hot, I'm sweating a lot. Yes, it is somewhat breathable, but with this sort of support, eight inches here, you will sweat. There's no way around that. When it comes to breathability and moisture management, I would give this a seven. When compared to other military boots out on the market, this is right there with the rest of them. They're all about the same, in my opinion. The lining material has definitely kept the stink away. Even after all of my use, no issues at all. Moving on with the pros, $110 for a pair of good military boots is not bad, in my opinion. These are by far not the most expensive, not the cheapest. But for what you are getting here, it's a good value. One aspect to these boots which has surprised me involves the laces. As you can see there, they are very thin, but they really have held up well. All the eyelets here are very smooth, so you don't have any fraying going on. There's no roughing of the laces. Honestly, I did not expect them to be this good. Now, when it comes to lacing up these boots, because it is NATO compliant, these are speedy. I mean, all you have to do is just simply tug, tie, and go. It's that simple. I wish all of my boots featured the NATO speed lace system because it's that easy. Once tied, the laces will loosen just a little bit so you will have to retension them. Now, when it comes to the cons, there's not much to complain about here, but there are a few things that we need to touch upon. For whatever reason, here on the right boot, it has a tendency to rub my ankle a little bit. Now, as I've broken these boots in, that has gone away. But for the first two weeks, I did have an issue with this leather corner right here pushing into my ankle. Now, so far with my testing, these have held up well, but I have begun to get a little bit of fraying here with the leather, as you can see. As mentioned before, you will get hot and sweaty in these boots, but that's true with all military boots. The last con, which I already mentioned, is the sole. Just a little bit slick on certain surfaces. It has gotten better with use, but still, just a little bit slick. In the forest, on the trail, I've had zero issues at all. Very grippy to rocks and so on. And the boots do a good job of digging in with little give. So let's go ahead and wrap up the review for the Proper Series 108 inch boots. I have to say that I like these. These are good quality, fairly inexpensive boots. You have the leather, the Kodora, excellent laces. The speed lace system is fantastic as well. And in my opinion, they are worthy of your outdoor adventures if you like this style of boot. They offer you a lot of cushion, a lot of support. The price is good, the quality is good, and I have no problems with recommending them to you. Now, of course, I am not a soldier. I have no military background or history, so I cannot tell you how they work in a military sort of situation, but I have shared with you how they operate in the real world and on the trail. If you guys have any questions for me, you all know what to do. Email me, in other words, if you don't. Strength and honor, massage that like button if you like this video, hit the dislike if you hated it, subscribe, comment down below, strength and honor. See you all around.